Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli the Reddy. In this video, we are going to discuss about Linux basic commands part one. Okay, let's see the demo one by one. So, before going to uh, discussing about Linux basic commands, first we have to connect the server. If you remember earlier, we have created a Linux server. I'm going to connect that one through Putty. I have selected the public key, open the Putty, and give the public IP and the port number is 22 and SSH. Remember here we are connecting through public IP, but in, in, in real time we will be connected through private IP only. And if you observe here, here the key is key name is Linux. Okay, we have converted right Linux from PEM to PPK file. We have to upload that PEM to PPK file in Putty. Okay, in go to the SSH and select the app. Here you can see browse and select that uh, that particular Linux PPK file is available in download folder. So I have selected that one, open it. Then click open. Now it is asking as an option, click the accept. Now it is asking the username. The username is EC type and user. Remember, when you are using Amazon Linux instance, the username is EC type and user. Okay, I have connected the particular user. Now I, I'm going to increase the font size because it is very less so right click change settings go to the appearance change here you can select the particular font i have selected 16 okay apply see if you observe here currently i mean ec type and user but this is a private ip okay but this particular ec type and user might not be uh admin privileges so we have to switch from ec type and user to root user so if you want to switch from EC type and user to root user, you have to use sudo. Sudo is nothing but super user do. Sudo is nothing but super user do. Then you have to do the SU. SU means switch to user. Then you have to provide username. Currently, I, I want to switch to root user. Okay, I want to switch to root user. That's why I give it here root. Okay, in case if you observe here earlier, we were in EC type and user. Currently, we are in root user. This particular root user having full permissions. Okay, remember one more point. Instead of giving root, you can give like uh, sudo su iPhone also. If you give iPhone also, you will be go to root user only. See, currently you are in root user. Got it right? You can give directly particular user or you can give iPhone also, it will act as a root. In case if you want to switch to another user, you have to give different username here. But might be you will get doubt. We haven't created the user, how it will become. Remember, when we are creating this particular instance, default two users will be there. One is EC type and user, second one is root user. Root, root user is nothing but admin user. Okay, fine. We have connected the particular server. Next, you see one by one. First, we will see the PWD. What is PWD? PWD is nothing but present working directory. Simple example, if you go to the windows, currently where you are in? You are in desktop, right? Okay, uh, now where you are in? You are in, uh, for example, I'm opening this folder, Firefox data. Where you are in? You are in this particular folder, right? In line, in Windows, you can able to know, like, go to the particular folder. You, you will be understand where you are currently. Same thing, if you want to know in Linux, how you can? If you want to know in Linux, you have to use PWD command. If you give the PWD, PWD is nothing but present working directory, where currently you are in. You are in root directory. Remember. In Linux, we will be called as file and folder. But when it comes to the Windows, we will be called as file and directory. File and directory. If you observe here, when you give the PWD, currently I am in root directory. Remember, this is the root user. This is the directory. Don't confuse. Okay. This is the root user. Slash root is a directory. Okay. Currently, you are in root directory. I hope you understand that. If you, if you want to know where you are currently in particular Linux server, you can use PWD command. Using this PWD command, you can able to know currently where you are in. Okay. If you observe here, PWD means root user. Currently, I mean root user. Okay. I hope you understand that. Next one, CD command. What is the uses of CD command? CD command is nothing but change directory. If you want to change from one directory to another directory, we will be used the CD command. Example, in, in, in Windows, just we will double click and we, it will go right. For example, if you double click here, then it will click. It will, you can go some location, right? Same thing if you want to go one directory to another directory in Linux, we can use CD command. So here, CD, 
I'm giving like OPT directive. This is the OPT directive. Default is available in Linux. We can discuss more on this one. We have a Linux directory uh, structure. We can discuss more on there. But currently, just I'm using this cd slash opt. If I give enter, currently where I am, if you give it here, I am in opt directory. Inside this uh, opt directory, we have a AWS directory also. I I went inside AWS directory. If you observe here, opt AWS. Currently where I am in, where I am in, inside opt AWS directory. Remember, cd space. AWS means it will go to AWS directory. But this AWS directory is already there in, in this particular system. I will show you later sometime. Okay. Find right. Uh, what are the uses of uh, CD command? And the next one, you have entered the particular CD and AWS. You, you enter to new directory. If you want to come back existing directory, you can give just CD icon. If you give CD icon, you will come back to OPT directory. If you give here PWD, currently you are in OPT directory. Remember, CD iPhone means it will back to existing directory. Existing we were in OPT directory, then I went to AWS directory, right? But when, you, when I use CD iPhone, it means it will come back to OPT directory. Okay? One step is back. One step is back means like uh, you you are earlier you are in OPT directory. That's why it is when you give the CD iPhone. It is back to OPT directory. Okay. In case if you want to back one or two two directories, you can do like cd dot dot. cd dot dot means it will back to one directory. Currently, you are in OPT directory. Correct. If I give, it will go to root directory. If you give here PWD, currently it is coming uh, slash because after OPT there is no any for uh, directories here. That is the reason. In case if you want. To come back to two to three, you can give like this cd dot dot slash dot dot. It means one step back. We have given two things right dot dot slash dot dot. It means two steps you will be back when you use this one. Okay. For example, I have given, but still you are in opt uh, slash only because after slash we don't have any directory. That's why it is not going to existing. Currently, I'm going to showcase here opt aws. Okay. If you observe here, currently OPT directory AWS. If I give CD dot dot, it means you can back to one step back. One step back means you are in AWS side, right? then you will come back to OPT directory. Just give it here. If you give PWD, currently you are in OPT directory. I hope understand that. Right? Just simple. If you want to back one step or two steps based on your request, CD dot dot slash dot dot based on. If you give multiple dot dot slash, dot dot slash like that it means if you are given for example i have given dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot it means you will back three steps back if you use this command okay find it fine next one i'm in opt aws see currently i'm in opt aws directly but you are in anywhere any location doesn't matter i want to back to root directory what you have to do just you have to give cd cd space enter it means you are in any location doesn't matter you will be back to root directory if you go just cd and enter it means you will be back to root directory okay i hope understand right what are the uses of cd command cd command is used to change the directory okay from back or going forward wherever you want to go you can use cd command in case if you want to go to multiple locations how can opt just a slash AWS might be will get out uh, this OPT where it's coming. This OPT directory is default available in our Amazon Linux. Okay. So it is there. That's the reason I'm using CD slash OPT. Later part, we can discuss more on this one. Just give that PWD. Currently, I'm in OPT AWS. Okay, fine. Got it right. Next one, LS command. What is the uses of LS command? The LS command is used to list the files are direct in your current directory currently where you where i am in currently where i am in i am in opt aws right opt aws if i give ls command it will be show like whether files are direct what are the files are directories available here it will be displayed but if you observe here just i given the ls command here it is not showing properly whether it is file or directory okay uh, when it was created everything it is not showing showing right when you use the ls if you want to see the details of the particular directory or file, 
you can give ls hyphen l if you give ls hyphen l command it will display whether it is directly d means directly okay when it was created what is the size of this one everything will be displayed here when you use the ls hyphen l command remember this is the hyphen l not one okay instead of giving ls hyphen l you can give ll command also ll ll command also it will be work same as ls hyphen l command ll command also it will be work for same as ll command okay i hope understand right any questions no okay fine next one i'm back to root directory currently i mean root directory if you want to know hidden files how you can know ls hyphen la ls hyphen la means list all the hidden files if you give the ls hyphen l it will be display it is it is uh, uh, hidden files is nothing but it will be start with dot dot files also it will be display dot bash logout dot bash src okay everything will be displayed right when you use the ls hyphen la command if you are not using ls hyphen l just if you are giving ls hyphen l currently we don't have any files that is the reason it is not able to showcasing anything but when you use the ls hyphen la it means hidden files is there it is displaying here okay fine right got it any question no right okay yeah next one is i am going to opt directly i'm going to inside the opt directory okay currently i mean opt directory if i give ll command here it is showing that particular files right but if you want to know if you want to know when it was created from uh, top to bottom you can use ls hyphen ltr if you give ls hyphen ltr it means it will be display from down to top time and date wise if you observe here november 12 okay today we have created example okay then it is came august 16 it means from down to top it will be displayed time wise okay the particular file or directory it will be display time manner it will be display when you use the ls hyphen ltr command okay this command will be used when for example if you, uh, you have created one file whether it is created or not okay when it was created if you want to know you can use ls hyphen ltr command it will be display from uh, down to top right it means down one it will be display latest uh, date okay you can use that ls hyphen ltr these are the commands ls command ls hyphen ltr ll command ls hyphen l command these are very most important because frequently when we are uh, connecting the linux server frequently we will be use this command okay i hope understand right any question no right if you have any question feel free to comment i will try to respond as soon as possible thanks for watching this video we will see you in next video